How about not today again being linked with a move for Botafogo winger Luis Enrique. The 23-year-old has played 34 times in 2024 for Botafogo, scored seven goals and got three assists. He does, of course, play for John Texter's club. Um, and there was a link back in the summer when Texter was looking to buy Everton, saying that Everton would try to get the winger, or Texter would try to move the winger to Everton. But those links have continued and have resurfaced today. Uh, it is thought that Kevin Thelwell is looking for a right winger for the Toffees. Uh, there's also been stories today that Jack Harrison may move back to Leeds in January. I'm not sure about that one, but Enrique is one that Everton are keeping tabs on. Uh, he moved to Botafogo from Real Betis, but he's, he's had a good year for Botafogo. Good dribbler, left-footed right winger. Uh, let's see if there is anything in that. Everton do want to strengthen in that area, though, and they, they have needed the right winger for some time. Story going round today, the Farhad Mashiri will convert his loans to equity if the freaking group takeover hasn't been completed by the 11th of January. That is, of course, when the ATP um, rules come in. Or, yeah, no, APT even, the Associated Party Transactions. That's when the new rules come in uh, concerning with interest on loans being uh, included in your PSR. Uh, there is a... A lot of uh, belief now that the actual free King group takeover will be completed in the next couple of weeks. So, therefore, this one is a little bit of a non-event. But Mashiri has um, basically said he'll convert those loans to equity. He has thought to have loaned the club around £450 million over an eight-year period since he bought the club in 2016. And he has thought that those loans will be written off on completion of the takeover so far, I'm sure making sure that Everton don't have to uh, pay any or don't have to include any interest payments on that in their PSR calculations. Armando Broyet should continue his uh, return to full fitness by taking part in Evans' under-21 game tomorrow at Finch Farm against Nottingham Forest. Breuer played an hour didn't know he didn't play 45 minutes rather in Everton's 1 0 defeat at Watford in the Premier League Cup earlier in the week. But he is set to feature for longer tomorrow against Nottingham Forest. And another player who could be making their first appearance as a part of their comeback is Yusuf Chimiti. He got injured uh, after the Salford City game earlier in the pre season. He had a damaged a tendon on his foot. He's been out, but it's been stepping up full training this week and it is thought that he will take some part in that Nottingham Forest game tomorrow. And finally, Seamus Coleman is back in full training ahead of Everton's trip to Manchester United on Sunday. The Everton skipper has been played with injury this season, but it is good to see him back in the squad and hopefully he will be on the bench for the Toffees trip to Old Trafford on Sunday. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.